I would like to remind people of The Wandering Jew by Adolf Hitler. And also, uh, Dr. Mabusa the Gambler, what I'm trying to talk about is the oppressive force of the Jewish people in Germany in the 1920s in comparison with the presence of the Jews and the power of the Jews in the early 21st century in America. I think people don't really understand what cosmic oppression is. And that is something I know quite a bit about. I am a diagnosed schizophrenic. I have been treated by psychologists and psychiatrists and psychoanalysts starting out with Dr. Bronio in Gary, Indiana in the 1950s. And then in the uh, late 1960s, I was treated by John Garant, a psychoanalysis of San Francisco, California, and by Sally Kaufman, also a psychoanalyst of San Francisco, California. In the 1971, about Christmas time, I was taken to Dr. Moffick's clinic for schizophrenia. And a number of psychiatrists and psychologists have diagnosed myself as schizophrenic. I was uh, taken to uh, Gary uh, Methodist on, on, on mental disease and they, they took me to uh, Marion VA and over the several years I accumulated as much as a year's time in a psychiatric ward of Marion VA. I also have been treated in at uh, Kingwood Hospital in Michigan City and at Elkhart General in uh, Elkhart and at Porter Stark and at Grant Hospital in Chicago and also at uh, Wilson Care and at Boulder Psychiatric Institute in Boulder, Colorado. They all agree that I have schizophrenia. To me, uh, schizophrenia is defined by the United Nations and by a psychiatrist in America, by the American Medical Association, in a certain way. Actually, the majority of schizophrenics, according to their definition, hear voices, and I've been hearing voices for 40-some years, 40 years now. And they also uh, experience, and I've been experiencing the same thing, cosmic invasion, the body of a, a stranger, of a person that you never met or you have met, inside you, functioning as you, and uh, people talking to you, not really talking to you, but you hallucinate conversations. One of the worst problems I had was uh, after I, uh, Michael Cohen was appointed my meditation instructor in Boulder, Colorado. And his influence has been exceedingly adverse. The voices are poisonous to individual people. And the voices actually come from other people, quite often religious people, or people striving to achieve higher status, power, and prestige. So 
the voices have a tendency to move your behavior and your thinking in degraded directions. For instance, preventing you from taking a bath, or preventing you from washing your clothes, or preventing awareness of breath, the meditation practice of Buddhism. It's somewhat strange that uh, my schizophrenia was diagnosed just after a, a talk by uh, the Trungpa Toku. Now, I, I didn't have, I had I attended that year, that was 1971, I attended uh, three uh, teachers, uh, Alan Watts, who teaches Zen Buddhism, and Lama Govinda, who teaches a Tibetan Buddhism, and finally Chogyam Trungpa. All three had an adverse impact on my uh, sanity and my balance of mind. And this, this uh, degraded consequence of the voices has persisted for 40 years now. I would like to try to make it clear that the voices actually are not the inner workings of your own mind, not the inner workings of my mind or any other schizophrenic's mind. They actually are telepathic transmission from other people. Sometimes those people are just interested in degrading your lifestyle in order to achieve a power and prestige claiming they themselves are pure and good and you are unwholesome and low. Sometimes it's the people trying to uh, tell you that they have spiritual, inordinate spiritual powers. Yeah, I, I, I think about Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, probably had certain uh, spiritual abilities, certain uh, uh, abilities to uh, encounter people and so forth and also had certain abilities with dreams and so forth. And he began the whole process, maybe other people earlier, with, uh, with telegraphy, with, with, with a telegraphic office in Washington, D.C., where he would go many times to communicate with the rest of the world. I believe that uh, television and, and the PC and uh, radio and records and all that is an offshoot of a natural human tendency to be spiritually aware of others at, at, at distances, at extreme distances sometimes. 